Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Shaper tool in Adobe Illustrator to create basic shapes from rough sketches. To do this, I'm going to create a new document. So I'll click on Create New. And I'm going to click on Web. And I'm going to just use the large preset here to create my document. And I won't worry about changing any other settings here. This is just to demonstrate how to use the Shaper tool. Click on create to start a new document and you should be able to see uh, your workspace here ready to go. The shaper tool should be on the toolbar and it looks just like this. So if I move my mouse over that, we can see the shaper tool is just here. If you can't see the shaper tool and it's not on your toolbar here on the left, you can click on the three dots menu down here to edit your toolbar and you can scroll down until you see the shaper tool and then you can click and drag it onto your toolbar so that it's there ready to use. Okay. It's already here for me ready to use on my toolbar and I can just click on that. Now with the shaper tool, um, you can also use shift N keyboard shortcut. So you can press shift and the letter N on the keyboard to get that uh, tool to come up with the shaper tool. It works by uh, drawing like a pen, drawing out the shape that you want, a rough shape, and then it converts it into a nice, neat shape for you. So for example, if I wanted to draw a square, I can just use the shaper tool to draw a rough square, and then it automatically converts it into a proper square, um, and I can change the uh, stroke color, and I can also change the fill color if I like. If I wanted to draw a nice triangle. I can just use the shaper tool to draw a rough triangle with the mouse and then it converts it into a nice neat triangle with even sides. Uh, if I wanted to create a rectangle as well, I could do that. It's just drawing with my mouse, a rough rectangle. I could do circle and I can also do an oval. Okay. So now each of these shapes can be edited with the selection tool. I could click on the shape and I could resize it if I wanted to, uh, or I could uh, click on the shape and then use the rotation tool to rotate the shape if I like. And I can click on the shapes and change their fill color. I could double click on the fill color here if I wanted to change its fill color and double click on the stroke color as well if I wanted to change the stroke color. And uh, I could also change um, the properties. If I bring up the properties panel from the window menu, click on that. I could also change things like the stroke thickness or weight or the opacity of the shape. So if I wanted to make it a little bit see-through, uh, I could reduce the opacity value which makes the shape a little bit see-through so you can see what's behind it. Okay, so it works just like any other shape you would create uh, with the shape tools or the pen tool in Illustrator, um, but it can be a nice way of just quickly drawing a shape um, with your mouse and then converting it into a nice, neat shape. Okay, so that's how to use the shaper tool in Adobe Illustrator.